Dub, uh, very rare to get three days off in the middle of a season like this. How did this feel for you guys to, to have this amount of time? Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. What did you do with yourself? Um, the first day I slept all day. Well, what's, what's today? Today is Friday. Okay. So maybe one of those, the first day I slept, we had like a building closed. Um, then we kind of had a lighter, uh, practice yesterday with all the stuff going on. And then, uh, today we got after a little bit, uh, still pretty quick. So it was good. I slept a lot though. Did you get a chance to catch the, uh, Kobe statue stuff last night and, and just knowing uh, how much you, you love Kobe, any thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, so I was sleeping, so I missed the actual like part of it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I saw it. It's it dope, dope. I think there's two more that are supposed to be unveiled, so I'm looking forward to it. But they did a good job with the first one, so I'm excited to see what the second one is. Jalen, how, second and third one. I'm sorry. How familiar are you with with Gordon's game and just what he adds to what you guys have already built? Uh, yeah, he, he does a lot. Uh, he's a lot taller than I thought, which is cool. Um, but yeah, he um, kind of do what. A lot of us do, you know, be able to stretch the floor, uh, big wing, be able to guard multiple positions, uh, shoots it well. So he'll fit right in with us, can play fast. He does a lot of things well offensively and defensively that, we, uh, that we're looking forward to having him with. Uh, yeah, so it should be exciting. Yeah, and, and just got his game. Um, obviously, he's the oldest dude on the team now by a mile. Just what does that add in terms of just the landscape of the team? And, and again, what you guys have built on that front? Uh, just experience. Um, I don't know if we can call K. Rich Unk anymore, but <laughs> but um, just experience. I think whenever you have older guys that have kind of been through the league as long as he has um, and had success at the rate he has, uh, I think it just kind of brings a different dynamic of like success and kind of what we need to win. So, um, you know, like I said, we're super excited to have him. And he already kind of, you know, has talked to us about what, what he likes to do and, um, you know, just kind of things like that help us win. Uh, and, you know, he's also receptive to stuff that we wanted to. He made that clear when we were talking. So, um, good dude. So, it should be exciting to have him around. Deb, you talked a couple weeks ago about one of the cool things about this team is you got so many guys the same age, and you've kind of been going through this together. Trey's one of those guys, and you, you lose one of those guys for, I guess, kind of the first time for you. Mm -hmm. What's sort of the emotions of deadline day? Uh, it sucks. Uh, you know, Trey's a big, a big part of the organization and just our team, especially how we've been. Obviously, I've been here two years, so just the past two years. Uh, you know, he meant a lot to everybody in here. So everybody's excited that he kind of gets like a fresh start in Charlotte. Um, but yeah, it was like, it's like a bittersweet moment. Obviously, you know, uh, Vava and uh, DB as well being here a short time, but guys have a really big impact here. Uh, you know, not everybody gets to come through here. So when they do, they're usually really good people. And uh, yeah, those three guys that hurt, but you know, they kind of get another opportunity to be great where they're at. So I'm looking forward to their success. Well, I've always wondered, like, whenever a new player joins a team, you guys have all this chemistry built up. What's the, like, vibe? Is it, like, new kid, new school type thing? Or is it, like, do y'all just carry on and he fits in or do you welcome him in? How does that go? Uh, it's a pretty welcoming environment, I feel like. We're also young, so, like, we're pretty embracing of it. Uh, I think the biggest thing is probably just he's just older than us, so. But um, we fit right in. We're pretty embracing of everything here. That's just kind of our culture. Um, that's kind of how we are. So we're usually pretty receptive to anybody that comes in. And uh, obviously when somebody can like him can come in and help us win more games, I think it's a big thing. And I think everybody kind of understands that. We have a pretty mature team as well. So, But, um, yeah, everybody's embraced here. Is he someone you can lean on for game advice and potentially playoff advice? Oh, for sure, yeah. Like I say, you know, age is, um, you know, a good thing to have on the team. Um, like I said, you know, he's had a lot of success in the NBA, so. Anytime we can kind of pick his brain to understand different things about our team. You know, like I said, we're really young. So anytime we can kind of have somebody with that experience, it's always something that we would like to ask and, you know, kind of bring up to him. Can you throw one older guy? He's a young guy. He's 33 years old. Yeah, he's not. You... Just this team. <laughs> yeah, right. When you throw a guy into that, are you guys going to give him grief for being the old guy? Is that going to happen? That already happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, the old guy, I guess. But yeah, our team is just extremely young. So. And Doug, with Gordon being the only move you guys made, it kind of um, gives off the impression that you guys are doubling down on an identity you've already built in terms of being small, maybe uh, trading some, some bigger people qualities just to, to have that fluidity on offense and do some of the things you guys have been doing. Um, can you remember ever you know, committing to you know, a basketball identity on a team like this? And I guess moving forward, um, how confident are you in uh, what you guys have to do? Um, 
I don't know about having a double down <laughs> necessarily. This is my first team, but um, yeah, I don't know. Um, kind of just let the front office do their thing and just, you know, embrace whoever comes in, obviously. But um, I think it was, you know, I think he fits in with what we're trying to do, if that's if that's what you're saying. So it does kind of like reinforce, you know, how we want to play um, just because he's able to do a lot. And like I say, he's taller than I thought he was. So being able to guard multiple positions, something that, you know, just kind of is a theme with our team. I don't know if that answers your question good enough, but yeah, I just, I think he's going to kind of fit in well in that regard. And it's just something that I think we constantly kind of repeat on. So it's good. Dan, have you had a chance to reflect on just how wild that last game down in Dallas was and, um, and uh, getting to, getting to play those guys again now here? Uh, yeah, they have Kyrie back now, so it should be a, a different game. Uh, kind of flushed that one from memory and <laughs> <laughs> try and just remember the good stuff about it. But um, yeah, we, we've watched it. Um, Obviously, you know, a lot has a lot has changed since then too. But um, you know, I think going up against them is always good to kind of have that in the back of our mind. Uh, you know, just trying stuff to avoid. But I think with Kyrie, they're just a, a different team in that regard. So, and they have a lot of other pieces back as well. So it should be should be a completely different game. So just to clarify, did you meet Gordon and think, "Oh, this guy's taller than I thought he was"? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he walked up, I was like, "Yeah, he's he's tall." <laughs> yeah. And when you say he's already gotten a little tall for being the old guy, what do you guys say to him? What's what's that? Mean? I'm leave that in a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Just off the top, I want to thank uh, Davis, uh, Vasa, Trey Mann uh, for their commitment to the team, their hard work, professionalism. Those guys were great professionals. Uh, Davis and Vasa obviously joined us this season, did a great job of integrating, um, being a part of the team. They both had a lot of experience and came here with an open mind, uh, which we really appreciated. Uh, and Trey was a guy, obviously, that we drafted and spent a lot of time with developmentally. He did everything we asked. He was an incredible worker, great teammate. Um, and, and so we wish those guys all the best. We're not going to be surprised uh, at any success that they have uh, as they move forward. They're good players uh, that are ready for uh, increased opportunities, which I think they'll have a chance to get. Uh, and we'll be rooting for all those guys because of the way they, they carry themselves here. Gordon uh, seems to be kind of a, a shoot drive pass kind of guy uh, that that can fit into what you all do is is that how you view his arrival yeah it, it's just you know more uh, versatility you know similar to a lot of the guys that we already have um, which allows us to be flexible and um, use him and everybody else in a lot of different ways so we'll learn him you know we're not in a rush uh, to do anything right now you know we'll figure out his game figure out how he fits in um, but we're certainly excited about him Mark, what is his health status for you? Um, he's feeling pretty good. Um, he's not going to play until after All-Star break. Uh, we need to take him through our kind of return to play protocol as if he were here all along. Um, we caught up with him this morning, got a feel for that. We don't really have practice time to, to go through, um, you know, what he needs to go through to clear, you know, our internal hurdles to play. And so um, it'll also allow him to integrate you know, in a more uh, seamless manner. You know, we're not really trying to rush anything uh, physically or from a basketball standpoint, um, focus more on sustainability. And we think that's the best plan. We knew that that would be the case uh, if we ended up trading for him. What did three days without a game do for you guys, just given what you've experienced? Yeah, gas back in the tank. Um, we had an off day and then um, you know, some light days here, got good work in today. Um, you know, so hopefully, you know, get our legs back a little bit, get fresh after what was obviously a very condensed uh, schedule for a long period of time. So um, I think the guys are feeling good, energized, uh, excited to see how we play. Going back to Dallas and just the last time you played them, obviously just a, a wacky game towards the end there. Just what do you glean from that game? How much do you learn from that going back down there tomorrow? Yeah, it was a long time ago. Um, Maybe a sense of how they'll guard us and how they'll attack us. Uh, Irving didn't play. Their team's obviously a lot different uh, based on health and you know trades they made. I don't know if those guys would be available, but um, you know definitely you know different team, different part of the season. It was a long time ago, so um, you know we're familiar with them. You know how they try to handle us, how we try to handle them. Um, but it's a, it's a new game tomorrow. Mark, obviously, I mean I'm sure you have some involved with this, but but Sam is ultimately the decision maker and, and uh, Gordon being the, the long move you guys made, it kind of doubles down on the identity you guys have built this season. And we talked about just going small and offensive fluidity, maybe uh, forfeiting some of the stuff bigger people 
allow uh, bigger than you guys already have. Um, so just being trusted by Sam to kind of carry out this identity thing and, and lead it into the posting, just what does that mean to you and, and what does it say to you? Um, well, I mean, he, you know, he obviously does his job very well. Um, and, you know, we try to do our job really well and develop the team. Um, we're happy with the team we have right now. Uh, we were happy with the team we had two days ago. You know, we really, really like uh, our guys. We like what we're building. We like the track that we're on. Um, we still have a long way to go. You know, we still have a lot of runway, a lot of things we can improve on, a lot of growth ahead of us uh, just with where our team is. Um, we do think Gordon can enhance that. How he'll enhance that um, remains to be seen. But like I said, you know, I think it's important when it's mid-season like this, it's almost like merging onto a highway. You know, you, you want to merge on in a seamless way uh, and stay with the flow of traffic. And, you know, we'll get him prepared for that. We'll get the team prepared for that uh, and take it from there. We'll allow it to happen very organically. Mark, he is a, he's an older guy. You guys were You've been a very good team as a young team. You add a guy who's he's just been through a lot in the league. He's been on good teams and bad teams and ups and downs. Is there some value in just having a guy who's been through a lot of stuff? Um, the greatest value, you know, we don't need a chaperone. You know, these guys, you know, are, are on their own two feet. You know, our, our players are. Our players are great young professionals uh, that we have a lot of trust in um, in terms of their professionalism, commitment level, all the things that um, – that people would assume you glean from from veteran players. So it's more about the person. Uh, and I know Sam, you know, as he, even in the draft last year and my interactions with him, uh, he's been very selective about who we're bringing in the door and making sure that they're an organizational fit, that they'll be a fit in the locker room and that they'll be a stylistic fit. Uh, and he was a guy that, that Sam felt strongly checked all three of those boxes. Um, and so I, I'm sure that's part of the reason why he did it. This team has, I mean, you've talked a lot about the chemistry, the camaraderie, the way these guys root for each other's success. How important was it to, that, you've, that if you're going to add to this at this stage, it'd be a guy, you know, who fits that mold? Yeah, critical, you know, critical. And that was, you know, something, I don't want to speak for Sam, but something that he communicated. Again, it wasn't just a trade deadline thing. It's something, you know, dating back years now. Uh, as, as the nucleus of the team started to solidify and as we started to get kind of an identity in our environment and on the court, um, he's been very delicate about making sure that anything we layer on that uh, is additive uh, and enhances, you know, the track that we're already on and doesn't depart from that. And so, you know, Kaysen is a great example of that in the draft. Keontae, those guys are, are singing our song. The guys we added, you know, Vasa, Bertans, uh, coming into the season, and now Gordon, you know, we, you know, perceive uh, that they're going to do that. And uh, that's, that's why he's letting them in the door. Yeah, you've got a couple of roster spots now. What's the process there of determining what happens there? Is that a Sam thing? Is it a cooperation thing? Um, I mean, he, we communicate all the time, but it's definitely his his thing, you know. But, you know, from my standpoint, I'm really happy with the team we have, have been uh, from day one. Um, and so he'll be opportunistic. He always is. Um, but we're, we're pretty content and happy with where we are. Like, you have obviously been very successful with how you play and the style in which you play. Like, for people who maybe on the outside who uh, just look at numbers or not used to maybe a unconventional approach at times, like, hey, they need to add a big man. Like, what what don't they understand about what that might do to um, maybe muck up the offense, especially like a traditional big man, um, and uh, why that isn't like an obvious move for you guys to make? Um, well, in terms of what moves to make, Again, you know, Sam's got to do that, and a lot of that's based on opportunity, and there's a lot of layers that go into those decisions. None of those decisions are in a, in a vacuum uh, that he's making, and so um, I think it's important to understand that. Um, the type of person that we have here, uh, how they fit the organization, how they fit the locker room, um, when I say stylistic fit, it's as much about, you know, are they competitive? Are they willing to play inside the team? Everybody's game is a little bit different. And part of our job as a coaching staff is to be flexible and adapt and evolve based on our personnel, which I think we've done. You know, we haven't had a static, you know, style of play over time. You know, it's evolved and it's built based on who we have and what we do well. Um, but I would just say, you know, anything you change or anything you do in general, uh, in basketball, it's a very interconnected game. 
And so every decision you make, whether it's with the roster or it's a decision I make on the court, is a domino. You know, it's not just a, a decision in a vacuum. You know, you push over one domino and it's going to knock over more dominoes in that game or in the future. Um, and evaluating every decision as such, uh, I think, is important from our standpoint, whether or not everybody agrees with, you know, he's making a lot of decisions. We're obviously making a lot of decisions. No one's going to agree with every decision we make. But... Um, we try to have an appreciation for the layers uh, and the consequences of all of our decisions, whether it's Sam um, making the decisions with the team or whether it's our coaching staff making decisions with, you know, on the court. Based on his injury history, does minutes, do you have any mind how many minutes you want to play him? Or is that something to be determined? Or how do you figure that? Uh, Going to let it evolve. You know, we talked this morning, uh, Gordon and I and, and Donnie uh, Strack and, um, you know, we're going to let this unfold in a very natural way. You know, we're more interested in sustainability. We're more interested in, um, like I said, merging them onto the highway with the team in a way that's additive. Um, that's a delicate process midseason. We're aware of that. And so um, we're going to measure twice and cut once. We're not going to uh, be hasty uh, with his return to play physically or with his integration from a basketball standpoint because we think that gives it, you know, the best chance to, to add value to the team and impact to the team. Mark, I, I, Dub was just in here talking about Gordon being that older guy, and uh, the, the guys have already kind of given him some grief about being older. Uh, I know you've only been around him for hours, but can you sense that dynamic of you know the lessons he brings, the experiences he brings, stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, we have a, the one of the things I love about our team is how open they are uh, to really anything. You know, it's a very open-minded, adaptive team. Um, so, you know, guys will – he's experienced. He's been around. Um, he's played in big games. You know, the guys, will, guys will tap into that. But I, I do think it's important um, to acknowledge also that, you know, again, he's not here for that purpose. He's here because uh, we think he can help us on the basketball court. Um, and our guys, like I said, have stood on their own two feet without that. Um, and, and that's been part of the beauty of, of what they've built. Um, as a locker room, they've leaned on each other and worked together uh, to gain those experiences and learn from those experiences. And he's going to be way more a part of that process than he is like this wise sage that's you know sitting and, and lecturing everybody on his experiences. We wouldn't put that burden on him. Since uh, it's a short trip, will Gordon stay here or will he go with you guys to Dallas? He's staying with us. He's staying back here. He won't travel with us today. How's Isaiah? Uh, good. He's doing well. He practiced today. Coach, we talk a lot about like culture fits and. Outside of the cliche, uh, he's a veteran leader. What are you most looking forward to as far as like a cultural fit with Gordon? Uh, learning him, you know, learning who he is. Um, everybody's unique. Um, one thing that I, we try not to do is make an assumption about any player. Um, we don't want to make an assumption about uh, what he can do on the court for us. We don't want to make an assumption about uh, who he is as a person. We want people to come in here and feel very comfortable being in their own skin. Um, and one way you do that is you stay very open to them. You encourage them to be themselves. Um, you allow them to, to lead the dance to a degree as they integrate, as they learn. Uh, we try to make that very natural. Um, so, you know, that's the biggest goal is just to learn him as a player, learn him as a person, uh, and allow him to just very seamlessly uh, connect with the group and with the team.